I did about roughly half in sales this week, what I did compared to last week. But the good news for you is that this should be a shorter video, right? Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Oh. Hey everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen. I sell stuff from my YouTube hauls, really like wherever I can make a buck. I'll do it. And this is a what sold video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you every single sale from the past week, whether it was an amazing sale, which I don't think I had any, or whether it was just an average sale or just a really stinky one. I'm gonna share every single one with you just so you can learn from my sales what kinds of things are selling for good money, what kinds of things maybe are not selling for so much and you could probably just leave behind at the thrift store and any tips and tricks I may have learned along the way. I do make a video like this every week and in the description down below, Below, I will leave a playlist with all of my what sold videos in case you just want to binge watch and just have something on in the background while you're listing or photographing or steaming or whatever. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. And if you're excited to see what's sold, then hit that like button and let's get into it. So we are talking about the week of May 4th, which was a Monday, all the way to May 10th, which was a Sunday. And on May 4th, we started off the week with a bundle sale to a viewer. So this went out to Debbie. Debbie, if you're watching, thank you so much. You are amazing. I do have this everlasting sale in my Poshmark closet and it's my four for $25 sale. It consists of stuff that either I know like on its own, these items won't necessarily warrant a sale because maybe they're just not worth that much and people don't want to pay $7.11. Is it $7.11 or 12 cents? Whatever it is. They don't want to pay that much to ship one item out to them if it's like, you know, a Target shirt or something. So I like to put some of those like lower dollar items in this four for $25 sale. Sometimes I'll throw things in there too that I've just like had for a long time and I just want to move out. And usually it's not stuff that I like go out and source for my four for $25 sale, but it's stuff that's either given to me for free. Sometimes it's stuff that, you know, it, it was my own stuff or stuff that my kids wore or my husband wore. And now, you know, I'm just trying to get Get rid of it and so I put it in my four for $25 sale or sometimes it is thrifted items but it's from like a long time ago before I knew any better or maybe they have stains what have you so Debbie picked four items from that sale and she picked some really good ones the first item was this new with tags New York and company red pencil skirt it was fully lined and it was a plus size it was a, it was a size 14 this I probably picked up almost over two years ago at this point, so it needed to go. And then the next item was another new with tags, Sass and Bide Cortez, that was the style name, skinny bootcut jeans in a size 24. These I had bought for myself, but like many, 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 many years ago. I don't know if you guys remember the website Guilt Group. I don't know if it's still a thing, but they were a website that would curate like a bunch of random brands and sometimes it was clothes, sometimes it was like home goods and they would just run sales on different things from different brands from time to time. And I remember seeing these jeans and I was like, oh, I'll give them a try. And they were just so long on me. I've learned that I cannot wear like luxury brand jeans. Not that Sass and Bide really is anymore. I think it used to be pretty high end, but I can't wear like Sass and Bide or even like current Elliott or Seven for All Mankind. Like I can't do those kinds of jeans because they're so long and I'm so short. So these were never worn, still had the tags attached. And then the next item was this Banana Republic pink and green batik pop over blouse in a size extra large. This I did thrift, but it has been quite some time, which is why I put it in my four for $25 sale. And then last but not least was this loft gray utility cropped pair of cotton pants in a size four. That I believe was given to me for free by a friend at church. And I don't think I've had it for like forever, like not as long as that skirt or definitely not as long as the jeans, but you know, it's been in my Poshmark closet for some time. So that's why it was in my four for $25 sale. So those all sold to Debbie for $25 as the name of the sale suggests. And I made $20 and a lot of that was profit because one of those items was a personal item. One of those items was something that someone gave to me for free and the other two, yes, I thrifted, but whatever. I know I'm like in the green with that. And that's why I don't mind my four for $25 sale. And then I did sell a bundle to Antonia, who is also a viewer. So Antonia, if you're watching thank you. And she bought four items from me from my last 
haul that I did and I will link that video right here. One of my friends was kind enough to just donate like bags and bags of stuff from when her and her sister and also like her mom and dad a little bit cleaned out their closets and so she brought all that stuff to my house for free which is so sweet of her and I was able to sell a few things from that haul as you'll see in this video. And I don't have like a picture of everything that sold but basically it was like items that I said I was probably going to put in my 4 for $25 sale so I sold these four items to Antonia for $25. After like paper fees and shipping and all that because I did say that I would ship that out to her I ended up making $15.95 of pure profit and I didn't have to list those I didn't have to photograph them so that was awesome so those were my Monday sales and that was cool because both of those bundles went out to viewers so if you're watching my videos and you ever make a purchase from me I cannot even begin to describe how thankful I am that you would you know choose to support me like that even the fact that you're just watching this video thank you so much you are amazing all right, moving on to Tuesday the 5th. I had two sales on Poshmark, two sales on eBay, and one Kitizen sale. Okay, I apologize because in my last few videos, I have been forgetting to talk about some sales. So I forgot to talk about my two Poshmark sales. The first one being this Express MK2 brown fitted button-up shirt in a size medium. This I got from a friend who I did a consignment deal with, and it sold for $20 with discounted shipping since I sent him an offer, and I made $13.88 off of that sale. The next item to sell was this vintage Tommy Hilfiger knit American flag sweater. This I got for one dollar at that Salvation Army that I went to for five and a half hours. I'll link that haul here. It sold for thirty dollars after someone sent me a pretty crappy lowball offer of like twenty dollars. So I was ecstatic to get that offer. And after shipping, or not shipping, but after Poshmark fees, I made twenty four dollars. So the first thing to sell on eBay was this pair of Vince denim rinse high rise lightweight cuffed shorts in a size twenty eight. These sold for twenty dollars. I had them listed for like 48 because I'm crazy and she sent me an offer for 20 I checked comps and I was like yeah I was crazy I don't know what I was thinking so I let them go for 20 and after she paid for shipping I ended up making $16.88 I did get those at the Goodwill for probably four dollars so I definitely did make a profit but not as good of a profit as I thought it was gonna make Vince is so hit or miss like sometimes it can do really amazing but you know these were like a pair of pretty insignificant shorts so the next thing to sell was a lot of two Gap Kids dresses in a size 5T, which is toddler. One was in this like coral print and it had like flutter sleeves and it was something that my daughter wore. And then the next one, I think my daughter wore like a couple times. It was green and it had like embroidered flowers all over it. I sold both of those to someone via offers to watchers for $9.90. They paid for shipping and I ended up making $7.73 which isn't a lot, but given that those were items that my daughter wore and loved, that's totally fine with me. I'm making some of my money back. I think we did buy the coral dress, but the green one was given to us for free. If I can make any money back on that clothes, that's amazing. And then on Kitizen, I had one sale and it was this pair of Old Navy blue elastic strap rubber sandals in an infant size five. These were my son's and he did wear them a lot when he was younger. So it's really cool that these are able to go to a new home. So on Kitizen, when you list something, you have a couple options. You can just list it like normal or you can exclude it from any shop discounts that you might offer so it's really easy to run sales on Kitizen and at most times people are running some sort of sale in their stores but say say you have something listed that's like six dollars and you're offering free shipping and you happen to run like a 50 percent off sale or something then you're not going to make any money on that item so they do give you the option to exclude listings from any shop promotions that you might be running and they also have another option i don't remember what it is oh they have an option where you can say that that listing is only for sale if they bundle it with something else so again if it's something that is like a lower dollar amount and it's not worth it to you to ship out by itself but if they were to bundle it then you're willing to sell it those are the two different options that you can do aside from just listing it like normal so I had turned on the option that you could only buy this if you bundled it with something else and someone messaged me and was like I don't really want to bundle it with anything else like there's nothing else in your store that I want can I just get these by themselves and I was like okay that's fine and I did have a 10% shop discount on as well so they sold to her for $8.95 I did pay $3.50 to ship that out to her so I made $4 and 30 cents. 
They were from Old Navy, so I probably still made all of my money back because you can get these kinds of sandals at Old Navy for super cheap. Okay, moving on to Wednesday the 6th, I had one eBay sale and another sale that went out to a viewer from that same YouTube haul that I already talked about. So the first thing to sell on eBay was some more kid stuff. It was a lot of three zip-up hoodies. There was like a Jimboree hoodie with like a red cherry stitched onto it. There was a brown H&M hoodie with like a pink heart print all over it and then a teal carter's hoodie so they were all in the same size i want to say it was like a 5t lot or something like that so those sold for eleven dollars and ninety cents i did have them pay for shipping but i definitely underestimated how heavy these three hoodies would be together they did end up weighing over a pound so i did have to send them out in a padded flight rate envelope so that cost seven dollars and 84 cents to ship out and i only ended up making five dollars and ten cents so the moral of the story is way everything like I say that and I never do it I always kind of like guesstimate but this I should have known it was more than a pound and it sold via promoted listings of six percent which is why I only made five dollars and ten cents but again all three of those items were items that my daughter wore so I am totally cool with moving those on to a new home and knowing that another little girl somewhere is going to enjoy wearing those so that is so cool to me the last thing to sell on this Wednesday, like I said, went to a viewer named Emily. So Emily, if you're watching, thank you so much. In my last YouTube haul that I already talked about, there were a pair of those Hunter boot socks and they were in a size large. She emailed me and asked me if I'd be willing to sell them to her. So I said, sure. So I said I would sell them to her for $12 shipped and I ended up making $8.75. Emily, thank you so much. I hope you love them. On Thursday the 7th, I had one Poshmark sale and three eBay sales. So what sold on Poshmark was this J. Crew Factory 100% linen white button-up shirt in a size small. This I bought off of a friend of mine. We worked out like a consignment deal. He gave me a ton of clothes and I, you know, gave him some money for all that stuff. This sold via offers to likers for $18 and after discounted shipping, I made $12.28. I do love anything that is like 100% linen because especially in the spring and summertime, those items fly out of my Poshmark closet or eBay store. So if you come across anything that is 100% linen, especially in this season, definitely pick it up. And then on eBay, I sold this pair of Theory Gray 100% wool wide leg like career dress pants in a size zero. Someone sent me an offer on these for $20, which you know, like theory, you think that it should go for a lot more, but sometimes theory just doesn't really move. So I went ahead and accepted it, especially because I was hoping that it would, you know, engender some more sales, which it kind of did. So I had them pay for shipping. I made it $16.80. I've had those for quite some time. I don't remember where I got them. I'm just happy to get them out of my house. The next thing to sell was this Forever 21 star print cropped long sleeve top. It was white, but it had like a star print trim down the sleeve and it was really cool actually especially for forever 21 it sold for 15 dollars and they paid for shipping i ended up making 13 dollars and 22 cents off of that so you know don't sleep on forever 21 if it's really cute and you can get it for really cheap it's definitely worth picking up i don't remember where i got this i want to say the bins so i don't think i have a lot into this i know i didn't get it at like a thrift store or anything like that so you know mm, I kind of want to say I got it at the Plato's Closet 90% off sale. Maybe that's where I got it. Anyway, moving on. The last thing to sell. This was kind of interesting. So this went to a viewer and I don't know how to say your name. So I'm not going to try to butcher it, but you know who you are. So thank you so much. She reached out to me after I did my last like free haul video. And she was like, hey, you mentioned in your video that a lot of the stuff that you hauled, you're just going to donate. And, you know, I was going to donate a lot of it, maybe because it had stains or a lot of the stuff was like T-shirts and sweatshirts from like their high school or like different church events and stuff. And, you know, that kind of stuff obviously doesn't really sell on Poshmark and, you know, just different things that really were not worth my time to list and so she reached out and was like I would be willing to buy some of that stuff off of you because I am learning how to sew and I just want fabric to like do stuff with and I was like oh that's so cool so we worked out a deal where I would send her 10 pounds of clothes 
And really, like, I didn't want to make much of a profit off of it because it was stuff that I was going to donate anyway, you know? So there were, like, a couple pieces that I was planning on selling that she had wanted. So I sold her the lot of clothes, you know, like, 10 pounds of clothes for $27. I paid for shipping. And so I really only ended up making $10 off of that, which I was totally fine with because even though it was 10 pounds of clothes, the majority of it was stuff that, like I said, I was going to donate. So this made me so happy that instead of having to go, you know, to Goodwill, it went to her. Her and now she's able to practice sewing and just make her own creations, which I think is so neat. So thank you so much. And I hope you're able to make some really cool stuff or even keep some of that stuff for yourself. And for that like mystery box, if you will, I literally just took a picture of yarn that was sitting on my table and that was the cover photo and that was it because I knew she was going to buy it. But, you know, people are going to look at my solds and be like, what is that? Anyway, moving on to the weekend. On Friday the 8th, I sold three things on Poshmark, one thing on Mercari, and one thing on Kittizen. So this week was not as great for me with Mercari and Kittizen sales as last week was, but that's okay. So the first thing to sell on Poshmark was actually a bundle of two items. And the first thing was the Swiss gear, the Sherpa laptop, slip case shoulder bag. Basically it was like, you know, a laptop bag. This I got on my last thrifting trip when I went to like a church yard sale, they were raising money for a missions trip. It did have a sizable stain on the front, but I only paid a dollar for it. And then the next thing that was in this bundle was another laptop bag by the brand Targus. It was this huge black laptop shoulder bag. You know, it was like a briefcase for work. It had so many different compartments that like zipped all the way. So both of these items only cost a dollar each at that same church yard sale um i ended up bundling those two items together because i saw that he liked them or maybe he had already created a bundle i don't remember and i sent him an offer of 32 dollars with discounted shipping so i ended up making 23 dollars and 48 cents so two dollars into 23 dollars and 48 cents i'm super happy with that the next thing to sell came from a different friend of mine and I did do a haul of his stuff and I will link that right here. Um, you know, he had a few bags of stuff for me between him and his wife and I gave him some money for all that stuff and I'm slowly starting to sell through his items. I don't even have all of his stuff listed yet, but I'm glad that the stuff that I have been listing has been selling and so I'm starting to make some of that money back. This week that we're in right now, I'm filming on a Tuesday. This week that we're in right now, I have been selling so much men's stuff and I think that's why my sales are already doing so much better is because I feel like men's stuff just sells faster and for more money so anyway this pair of gap gray vintage khakis in a slim fit with gap flex that's like their technology in a size 33 this pair of khakis sold via my closet clear out method and I will link that right here this one for $20 Poshmark paid for $2.12 of shipping so I ended up making $16 on that sale and then the last thing to sell was an item in my four for $25 sale, although they just got the one item and it was this Brooks running equilibrium technology shirt. It was like blue and white color blocked in a size medium. I used my closet clear out method on this person as well. She had liked the item. And so I reached out and asked her if she'd be willing to buy it if I dropped the price to $10 because Poshmark would be covering some of the shipping. And she said, sure. So I made $7.05. And then over on Mercari, I sold this new with tags Baby Gap Shark Hat. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. So it was like this blue little baseball cap and it had like shark teeth on it. It was brand new. We got it at Baby Gap a long time ago because it was on clearance for like $1.97. My son, to this day, he's like three now, but he's still obsessed with Baby Shark. You know, that pink fong, like, Baby Shark. <laughs> like, it is his favorite thing, and it's been his favorite thing ever since I feel like he could talk. If you follow me on Instagram, actually, I feel like every other day you just see stories of him singing that song. So we got this for him. I think he wore it like once or twice. He just is not, you know, a hat person. So it's obviously way too small on him now, but it sold for $9 on Mercari. Someone sent me an offer. I probably had it listed for like 12 and I did do free shipping on that because I do free shipping on everything on Mercari, practically everything. And so I ended up making $5 and 26 cents, which is crazy that I'm still in the green on that hat because like I said, I paid $1.97. And then my last kid is in sale of the week is actually through Facebook Marketplace. So I have a couple videos about selling kids clothes. I'll share one 
right here and I'll link it down in the description as well. And this is where I'm just sharing any tips that I have for selling kids clothes online in general and just sharing like a bunch of the different platforms that exist that you could sell kids clothes on. But then I'll also share this video right here. And in this video, I interview a couple and they go by Ginger Marvin. They have a YouTube channel that I'll link down below and they are like the king and queen of Kitizen. So one thing that Kathy from Ginger Marvin told me is that with Kitizen, you can turn on a setting so that all of your Kitizen listings are also cross-listed to Facebook Marketplace, which basically means that when you list on Kitizen, you're really listing on two platforms at one time, which is amazing. So this sold through that Facebook Marketplace feature. And the great thing about that is they can't send you an offer or anything. They just have to buy it at the price that you listed. And I have this Halo sleep sack swaddle thing, you know, like those things that you put on kids when they sleep so that they can't really move. They're just like stuck like this. And it had this really cute animal print on it. It was in a newborn size. I had it listed for $14.95. And I did pay for shipping, so I ended up making $9.36 on that. That even had some flaws. Like, there were a lot of loose threads around the elastic, and then there was some pilling. And I took pictures of all of that. I disclosed all of that. Still sold for $15. My kids both used it, and then I was able to make $9.36 back on that. So that was really cool to me. And then on Saturday, the 9th, I had one Poshmark sale three eBay sales and one Mercari sale. So on Poshmark, again, an item from my four for $25 sale. It was this Nike long sleeve Minnesota basketball long sleeve shirt. And I believe it was like women's basketball. Someone sent me an offer on it for $10, which I was more than happy to accept. And I made $7 and five cents on that. I only listed it because I got it for free at a garage sale thing that we were doing at school to raise money for my theater group. And so that money's actually gonna go to theater. And then on eBay, I sold this Athleta Cressida Racerback Maxi dress with a built-in bra. This was in this royal blue color. It sold for $30, and after they pay for shipping, I made $25.18. I have had that for quite some time, so I was happy to see that go. The next thing to sell was this pair of new without tags Crocs Carly Mary Jane sandals in a size four. I'm learning that Crocs are super popular, and actually, I did have a pair of Croc flip-flops back in the day, and they were like by far my most comfortable summer shoes and I wore them out until like the you know thong part came off so I am on the hunt for another pair if you have a pair of croc sandals for women in a size four or four and a half I have such small feet guys um please let me know these were like a Mary Jane style so I don't want to keep them and my daughter is not really into these kinds of shoes these sold for $18 I paid for shipping and so I made $11.58 off of those those were actually given to me for free by a friend at church so that's all pure profit which is great the next thing to sell was this American Eagle beaded flowy layered scoop neck tank top in a size medium. This sold for $4.99 because it was an auction item. After shipping and stuff, I'll end up making $3.82. I say I'll end up making because they haven't paid yet. So I did send them a payment reminder today, but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully they do pay. It's pretty rare for me that people don't pay. So, you know, even last week I talked about a Talbot's like cardigan thing that they hadn't paid for yet at the time that I was filming last week. And maybe like two or three days after that, they did finally pay. Something that I've always wondered about is if you are on eBay and you are buying and you are not paying on time, are you penalized for that? I hope you are because it's super annoying because you're supposed to pay within two days, right? So whatever. Anyway, moving on to Mercari, this sale made me so happy. It was pretty bittersweet, actually. It was my son's old Harry Potter onesie. It was from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, and it was like a Quidditch Gryffindor team you know, themed onesie. My brother went to Harry Potter World a few years ago, and when he was there, he got my son this onesie and my daughter a matching shirt. Obviously, my son has outgrown this onesie since then. I finally got around to listing it, and it sold for $13 with me paying for shipping, so I made $8.45 off of that. And that was after my son wore it a lot. Like, it was one of my favorite onesies to put him in. So that takes us to the very last day, which is Sunday the 10th, and I only had eBay sales. I had four eBay sales that day, no Poshmark sales. So, you know, this past week I had two days of no Poshmark sales, which is kind of stinky, but you know, it happens. So the first thing to sell on eBay was this Talbot's gingham skirt with like embroidered limes all over it. It is so cute. In a size 10, it sold for $8, and it sold via promoted listings with, you know, my promotion at 6%. 
and I will make $5.72 on this item after this person pays. So again, I'm waiting for someone to pay. I have full confidence that they will, but it just hasn't happened yet. The next thing to sell was another auction item, so I did not get very much for it, but it was this Banana Republic black floral rosette chiffon neckline shirt in a size medium. This is its second time selling. The first time it sold in a bundle on Poshmark, but I didn't have the other shirt in that bundle, so I ended up canceling that sale. This time it just sold by itself. So after shipping and all that, I ended up making $2.87 off of that. And I got it for free, which is why I was comfortable, you know, just putting it out to auction and seeing what happened. The next thing to sell on eBay was this Victoria's Secrets windowpane print PJ set. So it was the top and bottoms in a size medium. It sold for $18 and after shipping, I made $14.74. This is the second time I've sold this pair of PJs. The first time, you know, it got returned to me because they said it was too big for them. I'm hoping that this time it's a winner, but we'll see. And then the last thing to sell was this David, I wanna say Meister, I think it's David Meister, red and white medallion print V neck sheath dress in a size six this i believe i got at a thrift store maybe like half a year ago it ended up selling for 25 dollars, which is far less than i wanted to sell it for but david meister dresses don't go for as much anymore as they used to like they used to command a pretty high amount and when i say high amount i mean like 40 50 dollars sometimes even 60 dollars depending on the style but when i looked up comps i was like oh yeah, $25 sounds about right. I think I had it listed around like 40 or 50. So they pay for shipping. I made $21.92. All right, so let's talk about the breakdown, shall we? On Poshmark, I sold 12 items for $123.74. On eBay, I actually sold more and made more money. I sold 16 items for $155.56. On Mercari, I sold two items for $13.71. Kitizen, two sales for $13.66. And via YouTube hauls, I sold five items for $24.70. That brings me to a grand total of 37 items sold for a net profit of $331.37. So that's the amount going in my bank account after all of the fees, after all of the shipping. That's how much I get to take home with me. Well, take, I mean, I'm home, but you know what I mean. So, you know, last week I did like $600. $30 or something like that. So I did make a lot less money this week than I did last week. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was listing a lot more stuff that, you know, just kind of came out of my own house. It was a lot of like my kids' clothes, a lot of my own clothes. And so, you know, that kind of stuff isn't really gonna go for as much, which I'm totally fine with. And it broke down to 22 women's items, five men's pieces, and 10 kids' pieces. So, you know, a lot of the kids' stuff that I'm selling, I'm not selling like really high-end kids' stuff. It's a lot of Gap, it's a lot of Carters, but I'm just happy to move these things onto new homes because there's just something especially about sending kids' clothes out all over the country that I think is so cool. So I'm totally okay with the fact that maybe I wasn't making as much this week as I did last week, but that's totally okay. I do have a really good feeling about the week that we're in right now. And I am just like super motivated to get a lot done and list a lot and share a lot and, you know, do all those things. And I think that that's gonna hopefully bring about another week of sales next week that looks a lot more like last week. So all that being said, I would love to hear what your guys' sales look like. Are you seeing things pick up or are things pretty much the same for you? What kinds of stuff are you selling? Are you selling a lot of kids stuff too or are you kind of sticking with your main thing, whatever that may be? I'd love to hear what's selling for you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button on your way out. Consider even sharing it out on Instagram so that your friends can see what it is that you're watching on YouTube. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> this sold via my closet clear at Methet. This sold via this sold <laughs>